Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. So, uh, for this video, I want to continue... Uh, not really continue, but it's a new Archon quest. Eh? Uh, Archon Interlude Chapter, you can see here. The Crane Returns on the Wind. So, since I already completed Chapter 1, I can play this new Interlude Chapter. So I thought might as well play this uh, first instead before going to Chapter 2. Alright, and I'm right here. Oh, Ning Guang is there. Okay. I have gathered everyone here today to make an important announcement. Perhaps some of you will have heard the news already. I am, mm -hmm. in fact, planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber. The ads also keep saying this. <laughs> rebuild the Jade Chamber? That's it. Uh, that's, that's, exact, huge that's the exact line. So the rumors are true. The price of building materials has gone up so much lately. The Jade Chamber means a lot to Lady Ningguang. Getting involved in this would be a huge opportunity. Lady Ningguang, is there any way we can be of service? What timing, eh? We just fin we just uh, finished the sacrificing the Jade Chamber last time. And now the we're patience. building the new one. Since the news made it out a few days ago, I have already had many people contacting me to declare an interest in joining the project. Nevertheless, I do have a few matters I should like to entrust to you here today. The building site has been chosen, and most of the materials have been assembled. Three key items are, however, still outstanding. They are as follows. Sunset Vermilionite, oh. Wonder Cores, and Adepti Sigils. <laughs> no. They don't have. Uh, excuse my ignorance, Lady Ningguang. I, I'm familiar enough with Plostrite, but I've never even heard of those other two. Only sufficiently large pieces of Plostrite, or specifically Vermilionite, may earn themselves the Sunset moniker. This stone is what allows the Jade Chamber to float. Ooh. Wonder Cores, meanwhile, are the central components of the mechanical structure of the Jade Chamber. Adepti sigils serve as a means of integrating the mechanical devices with Adepti art. They are as indispensable as the mechanical core itself. Although these three items are rare, I trust that with your connections and capabilities, procuring them will not be a question of if, but of when. I take the saying, time is money, <laughs> more seriously than most. Efficiency is everything. I will pay a generous price for the materials that you find. And in addition, the first three people who collect all the materials the will have people. the opportunity to ask me a question. You may ask me anything. And I will give you an honest answer. I trust that this means of compensation will be to everyone's satisfaction. These things won't be easy to get hold of. But if it means a chance to get some inside information on Liyue Harbor's development plan for next wow. year... Then it's the deal of a lifetime. Information from Lady Ningguang is priceless. Whoever gets to it first takes the market. <laughs> what a coincidence! I won't divulge too much, but I heard some murmurings about some plot strike just the other day. So excuse me all, but um, <laughs> I have some business to do. All right then. He has a lead ready. Move quickly, or this opportunity will be snatched away from us. Ningguang's rebuilding the Jade Chamber? Mm -hmm. This is a huge deal! Let's get, Let's get involved! Yeah. So you heard my announcement, did you? What do you think? Interesting. Can I really ask you anything at all? <laughs> yes. Providing the question pertains to something I am knowledgeable about. Maybe I can find out more about my sister. Oh. Really, Paimon? Then we'll <laughs> never be short of Mora ever again! <laughs> of course. But how much information I share with you will depend on your performance. The construction of the Jade Chamber requires a great deal of space. The abandoned mine outside the Golden House has been selected as the building site. Once you have collected the materials, please take them there. I have other business to attend to now. Otherwise, I would gladly escort you to the site in person. Hmm, okay. When you do arrive, please seek out my secretary. Remember, 
This is a race against the clock. A rare opportunity presents itself to you. Do not let somebody else snatch it from your grasp. Race against time, then. <laughs> All right, let's First go. First, we gotta get out of Eugene Terrace. Uh, huh? Hmm? Look, it's oh, like Shenhe, is it? Is that, is that the there? new Shenhe? Ma'am? Yeah. You seem like an eminent and distinguished young lady to me. I can see that you're easily gonna win this procurement contest Lady Dingwang has set up. Oh? As it happens, we have some information about the materials that I really think might interest you. Come on, let's find somewhere a little more private. And we can get down to brass tacks. No, I don't need it. Ah, don't be like that. Hey, come on, don't go! <laughs> Why don't you stand there after her? Why after her? Oh, right, yeah. Huh? Eh? Okay. Did you hear that? They said they had some useful information. Information's just what we need right now. Let's follow them and see what we can find out. Follow the information padless. Wait, where did they go? Ah, uh, the quest location is involved in the quest adventures guild affairs. Complete it first. <laughs> Ah, now we can start the interlude chapter, okay. So, uh, this one I'll continue later. Let's do this. With these two. <laughs> well, will you look at that, ma'am. Nowhere left to run. Don't worry, we're not bad guys. You give us some mora, we give you a little info. Everybody's a winner. Boss, I got a bad feeling about this. Look at her, the, the white hair, the, the energy she gives off. I, I'm telling you, there, there's something mm -hmm. different about her. So what? She's loaded. How are we ever going to repay those gambling debts if we just let money walk away from us, huh? I've already told you. I don't need your information. <sighs> if you still can't grasp that, I'm happy to repeat it in a way that won't be so easy to forget. Uh, come on, ma'am. You seem like an intelligent lady. I shouldn't have to spell this out to you. It's not about whether you need the info or not, okay? Bruh. It's about you taking out your money and handing it over, and nobody getting hurt. Yeah, tell the guy. I won't... Hmm? No more excuses! <sighs> I know you have money. I saw you. I'm just trying to get money from people. Yeah, I saw you. Strolling into Leo Lee Pavilion, ordering a table full of food, and only taking a few bites. Then she knew a kiosk, then one mean restaurant. Same story each time. You order all the signature dishes, take a few bites, then you're on your way again. How could you afford to be so wasteful if you weren't from a rich family? And since you're so rich, what's the loss to you in giving us a little spare change, huh? <sighs> Master warned me not to lay a hand on anyone in Liyue Harbor. Master? I wonder who? <laughs> but here we are. Hmm. Perhaps... Ooh. Ah, uh, yes. Let's call it fate. Boss, I'm telling you, something's not right. What are you afraid of? We're just selling information. It's not illegal. If she lays a finger on us, all the better. We'll sue her They're for trying everything to she's worth. People to do business. There they are. <laughs> oh, you again. Millilith? Well, what are the Millilith doing here? Did you do this? You ought to mind your own business. I swear. Silence. How dare you threaten innocent civilians? <laughs> You're coming with us. <laughs> no, no, don't, 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 don't be angry, sir. P -p -p Please, let me explain. Takes away the hooligans who are surrounding the young lady with white hair. <laughs> are you alright? Shenhe. That's your name, right? Shenhe? 
My name. Yeah, okay. Oh, so your name's Shenha. Paimon's name is... Well, Paimon. <laughs> and this is Paimon's travel buddy. Oh, I've heard about you two before. Thank you for helping to defuse the situation. I could have dealt with it myself, though. I suspect <laughs> smashing his head against the ground a handful of times is all it would have taken to get him to surrender. Ah! You, you can't do that. That's way too violent. This is Lila Harbor. There are laws against that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. you know. Laws? Have you not heard the law? No. Apparently not. Really? So how exactly have you... Oh? I guess she hasn't eaten. That would be my stomach growling. Hmm, I haven't eaten enough. She's so honest. Wait, that's right! They said you went around all the restaurants ordering this and that and the other, but only took a small bite of each dish. Then of course you're still hungry! So, anything in particular you're hungry for? <laughs> Chingson, glaze lily, violet grass. Those are, These are my usuals. Medicinal herbs. Those are flowers. Hmm. Medicinal herbs? Kinda hard to explain. Mm. Anyway, Boo Boo Pharmacy's not far away. <laughs> Let's take Shenha there for okay. a big medicinal meal. After all, you can't work on an empty stomach. <laughs> so bring Shenha to Boo Boo Pharmacy. You think Shenha might be an adeptus? I think so. Maybe same like Seems Ganyu. Like it's her first time in Liyue Harbor, hmm. and she doesn't. Yeah, it should be that. She is an adeptus. That would explain everything. Where does she fit in with the other adepti, though? Hmm. Paimon's super curious. Well, from the ads I watch, surely with Cloud Retainer or so. <laughs> Are you here to buy some herbs? I do hope you brought your prescription. Chingson, Glaze Lily, and Violet Grass, please. Half a pound of each. What kind of prescription is this? Sounds more like a lunch order. <laughs> oh, here you go. That's everything we have in stock. Thank you. Oh, okay. She's really eating them! To everyone's astonishment, Shanna pulled this off. <laughs> okay. My hunger has now abated. Thank you. Are they really, really that good? Mm, rather awful. Though they were not completely devoid of sweet fragrance, after consuming a large quantity of them, bitterness is all that remains. So, how can you chow down on these and barely touch the restaurant food? If Paimon had enough, Mora, Paimon would go to the fanciest restaurant in town and order a whole table of food and eat it all in one go! Because I'm not sure whether I will remain here in the future. The food of the mortal realm is most delicious, but should I return to the mountains, Yearning for the food here shall only pose an obstacle to my continued spiritual development. Okay. Sampling each dish in order to appreciate its taste is enough. This is a good to way to see it. That proves it! Mm -hmm. I knew she was an adeptist! Or it could be like Ganyu. Mm -hmm. Enough half, about me. Maybe half. What are your plans mm -hmm. from here? Because yeah. <laughs> we've been held up for so long. Hmm, I see. I heard something about the contest when I was passing by. <laughs> yep! You get to ask Ningguang any question you want if you win! Were you interested in the contest too, Shenha? Hmm. I came for the rebuilding of the Jade Chamber, but until this point I had oh. no intention of joining a contest. However, you have shown me your kindness, and I would now like to lend you my assistance. Oh, don't worry. I ask for nothing in return. Me? Wow! You really don't have to. But having an adeptus help out will make things a whole lot easier. Yeah, let's so... jump forces. Then let's not delay. I have a plan. Great! Paimon bets this is gonna be the awesomest plan ever! Um, I am not sure whether or to what extent this plan can be classified as awesome. <laughs> I do, however, believe it will be highly effective. We simply need to dispose of everyone who is currently ahead of us. Dispose then, we of alone everyone? shall become the victors. What do you mean? Vito! That is not a 
<laughs> Not by a long shot. Really? But I hear that competition is in essence about conflict and one-upmanship. Look, we want to win this competition fair and square, okay? Sunset Vermilion Night, Wonder Course, yeah, and she should know. Sigils. Let's start at the top of the list and work down. So, for plus right... I was wondering who I could hear oh, arguing over there. So, it's you. When will Baizu be a character? It doesn't seem like Baizu is a character playable right now. <laughs> but he has a vision. What are you doing out here? Lady Ningguang wishes to purchase a large batch of wound dressing. We're running low at the store, so I came out to fetch the ingredients personally. Huh? How can Lady Ningguang need so wound much dressing? wound dressing all of a sudden? I'm not too sure. I did hear she's looking to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Maybe for its first aid on site? I didn't ask, though. Far be it from me to pry into my customer's personal affairs. <laughs> oh, and she also borrowed Chi-Chi. Oh, that's where Chi-Chi went. The pharmacy is very short-handed right now. I don't suppose any of you are looking for part-time work by any chance? Mm. No, no. 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 Yeah, we got something else to um, do. While you're here, though, you seem to know a lot. Have you ever heard of something called Sunset Vermilionite? Ah, the variety of plostrite used in the Jade Chamber, yes? There is some mention of it in the Seven Mountain Treatises. When activated, Sunset Vermilionite rises up all the way into the clouds. It's very rare indeed. As far as the records show, Virtually all Sunset Vermilionite in existence has been mined and taken possession of. But the Feiyun Commerce Guild would know far more about oh. this than I do. Okay then, let's go ask at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Thanks, Baiju. All right, You're then. quite welcome. Good luck to you all. And if there's anything further you need from me, just come to the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Okay. So... Seeing Chow's place then. Uh, Feiyun and Commerce Guild. Don't tell me there's another quest. Oh my... Jai is busy. Ah! Uh, really? Alright, let me just do this first. Okay, now... Okay, now we can continue. Go to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Oh, okay. <laughs> Master Singcho, thank goodness you're finally back. I knew it would meet Singcho. Oh, why do I detect an urgency in your voice? The guild has had a whole string of strange orders in recently. Everyone's been completely caught off guard. Your father gave me specific instructions to ask you to stay and help out if I happen to see you. I see. Have someone sort the orders by type for now. I'll deal with them myself shortly. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you, Master. With you on the job, I can breathe a sigh of relief. Hey, Xingqiu. Glad you're here. <laughs> we want to ask you for some information. Traveler, Paimon, please wait a moment. Wait a moment? Shu, I need to entertain some guests. Please continue with your work for the time being. All right. And we'll discuss the matter of the guild's orders in more detail later on. Understood, Master Xingqiu. Then I will leave you in peace. I wasn't counting on finding you here today. What's going on? And how, pray tell, may I be of service? Xingqiu, have you ever heard of Sunset Vermilionite? Oh, I see. So you've entered <laughs> Lady Ningguang's contest as well. As well? Do you mean... The truth is, the Feiyun Commerce Guild is in possession of some Sunset Vermilionite. Ooh. But only one piece. We are holding it on behalf of someone who has asked us to put it up for auction. And a lot of interested parties have already come to us inquiring about the price. Well, At the end of the day, it all comes down to supply and demand. In this wow. case, I'm guessing the final transaction price may be in excess of 500 million mora. It costs that much to, to get the sunset for midnight. 500 million?! That's so expensive. Honestly, I would recommend that you don't bother bidding on this one. <laughs> the price is greatly inflated, yeah. and it's just not worth it. Can we find another way? 
Don't panic. I don't suppose you ever heard of Seagazer? Who? No, never heard. Seagazer was once very close to Mountain Shaper. Oh. But if I am not mistaken, he has already passed away. Yes, precisely. I didn't know anyone else knew about him. According to records of drifting clouds, Seagazer once built an abode to store his rarest and most exquisite treasures, among which was some sunset vermilion. So that's another way to get, okay. After Seagazer passed, the abode was abandoned, and its location was lost to time. Luckily, I came into possession of a stack of folk history books just recently. They make some oblique references to this lost abode, and after cross-referencing them against each other, I'm now fairly certain that it is situated Lisa. in the Lisha area. That's great! Um, but is it really okay for us to just go and take his treasure? Wouldn't it be a little, you know, disrespectful with him being an mm -hmm. adeptus? <laughs> you needn't worry. As far as I understand, Seagazer was very open-minded. Even while he was alive, he wouldn't have let something like this bother him. Open-minded? I have not heard of Seagazer being described in this way before. May I ask where you read that? Just a rumor I heard out in the mountains. All right then, really? let's go. There's something about this young lady that reminds me of a good friend of mine. Oh, I almost forgot. Adepti abodes tend to have very ingenious designs, especially when it comes to their defense mechanisms. Plus, it's oh. likely to be crawling with monsters after being abandoned for so long. So please, be very careful. Okay, we will be. Thanks, Xingqiu. Okay then, we got some. We got another lead then. Search for the abode around Lisha. Lisha is over here. Okay. Let's see. Shincho said it should be around here, but Paimon doesn't see anything. Hmm? Hmm. This place was hidden using a special Adepti art. But now that I have removed it, we can inspect the area more closely. Wow, that's amazing! Yep, let's take another look around! Hey, look! Is that a new Sealy over there? A new Sealy? What? <laughs> oh, we have to follow the Sealy then. Follow the Sealy, what? Why is the Sealy acting... Okay, anyway. I never thought we'd be following a Sealy for a quest, not, a tr not for treasure. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, you are supposed to go down. A Sealy got to here and then disappeared. Should we go over and take a look? When it says, yeah, it says waypoint unlocked, so it's a, it's a domain. An abode created by Sea Gazer. It has abandoned for some time, but the data energy still power many automatic defense systems. Okay. Uh, I need ground, ice, fire. Well then. This reminds me of that teapot <laughs> again. Oh, so many clouds. Yeah, the ceiling is there. It feels like we're high up in the sky. Hmm. I believe this is the abode of that adeptus. With any luck, the sunset vermilionite we're looking for should be in here. Really? Let Paimon see. Oh, huh? the ceiling. Isn't that the ceiling from before? Look, Where's it going? It's gone and snuck beneath the clouds. And now that Paimon takes a closer look, the rocks and trees here don't seem complete. Oh, could there be something below the clouds? What do you think? These are not real clouds. They are the product of an Adepti art used for spatial partitioning. If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism that is maintaining the Adepti art. Okay. Alright, then let's do it! I sense the presence of monsters in this place. I don't know where they are hiding, so we'd better be careful. No worries, we are level almost 60. <laughs> Wait, I'm using Shenhe! Oh! Oh, I never tried Shenhe yet. Um, hold on. Okay. Oh, 
She continues. Okay. Hold on. Let me uh hold. Okay, same nice uh sounding. And what does this do? Transfiguration. Oh yeah, it's turn her is eyes. And I got a buff. And there's two dots on this, eh? So if I press again, what happened? Manifest! Oh. Okay. Oh you can do twice. Ah, okay, you can do twice. That's why I got two dots. Oh, so you refresh for two times. Okay, I see. Alright. Um Am I gonna fall down if I go down here? I don't know what's I don't know what am I supposed to do here. Let's see. Oh Okay What? The floor is invisible. Um Can I walk there? Okay, so there is no. There is cloud. Okay, let me try to fight using Shen He. Yeah, five combo, but I can still keep going. Let me try this. Oh, that was fast. Okay. Um, this? Am I supposed to? I think I'm supposed to find something to put inside this thing. Oh, wait. Ah, yes, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, correct. So that's one. I'm not called oh what? Ancient array core. Okay, we've been in current. Wait, what's the wind current over here? Done. Destroy the abode's barrier down there. Oh yeah, just now it was uh, blocked. Okay. Yes, a life bar. Right? Yeah. It appears that we've been taken for intruders. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? Okay. Cryo incarnate. Ooh. There we go. Oh, and the fog plays along. Oh, shit. Benny's adventure team. I have failed. Um, god damn it. I should have. Okay? Nope, Bennett's down. I did not expect that. I didn't expect a fall. It looks like we need to go further down. But before that, let's destroy the guard mechanisms on this level first. Mm. Obey! Do your master's bidding! Take your true form! Okay. Let's light it up! Shut up! Manifest! Oh god, they must lock it.
This is what we got here. gonna fall again okay this time remember to fly or maybe not yeah okay there's a ruin guard to fight let's go <laughs> of course there will be a ruin guard to fight why would it be there <laughs> we're gonna fall. This time we're really gonna fall. hold up hold up hold up hold up oh there was a water this time <laughs> doesn't matter Okay. Uh, hey, that series on the move again. Where? Let's catch up with it. Treasure. I see, I have to move it. Uh -huh. Can you keep moving? I think you can. But which way? Cannot. Okay, then this way. No? Okay, both cannot. Maybe there's another rock? Oh yeah, there is. Some more. There's two rocks. Let me move this again. Oh, um... Well then. I see. Can I move this some more? Can. Aha! And not. That means. Can I move this way? Cannot. Alright. Door resurrection activated. Okay. Is this an, a boss? Yep. Oh, it's the core again. Okay. Where are the enemies? Unleash! 
Yeah, I thought so there would be another. Oh, there's two of them? Okay. Even though level 49 is stronger than my characters. Let's go. Oh no, the helicopter. Okay. CD is going here. Is there anything I missed? I hope not. Alright, CD. Look over there! Could that be the sunset for Millionite? Okay. Just follow the CD, I guess. This reminds me of my Serenity pot somehow. Oh. See? <laughs> this is it, I guess. So is the jade chamber. It needs to be big to get the whole jade chamber airborne. That's true. But then again, why isn't it floating? Paul's trait doesn't float until it's activated. It may look different from most ordinary stones, but it weighs around the same amount. Okay. Only after being activated does Plostrite reveal its true nature. <laughs> breaking free from the shackles of the mortal realm and ascending up into the heavens. Wow, Shenha. You seem to know everything about this. Only because my master is fond of chatting about these things. The moment master, she has some time to spare, she'll come straight for Caritina? me and start telling story after I story. Assume? I don't care for her stories most of the time. <laughs> I certainly didn't expect them to ever come in handy like I this. I wonder who the master is. Hold on a sec. I might just realize something. If we activate it here, there's no way we'll be able to get it back to the site, right? Heck, we'll be dragged up into the sky too! Mmm, yeah. But if we don't activate it, how else are we gonna lift it? This rock must weigh well over a thousand pounds, surely! Don't worry, I can handle the weight quite easily. Wait, what? Are you sure? Can you? Uh, be careful! Please don't worry. I'm well aware that a plostrite sample this large must be highly valuable. I will be gentle with it and make sure it does not get damaged. Um, okay, not about that. I meant you. <laughs> My safety. That's right! I'm unsure you can handle it and everything, but if something this heavy lands on you, you're gonna get yourself hurt, no matter who you are. Unless you're that strong. You gotta be extra careful when lifting heavy objects. It's just common sense! Hmm. Is it now? Hmm. Well then, thank you. I'll go on ahead with the plostrite. Let's meet at the building site later. Shenha lifts up the plostrite and leaves. How is Shenha what? Able to carry 
<laughs> super adaptive skill. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, only one chest. Eh? Return to the Jade Chamber worksite. Okay. Oh, we're here. Okay. Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. <laughs> How can she lift that massive rock all by herself? She's gotta be one of those Adepti, surely. Oh, mighty Adeptus, please give me your blessing so that in the coming year I may reap a more bountiful salary. This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immaculate. Congratulations, this item is approved for submission. I'm going to award you full marks for the Sunset Vermilionite item. May I take your name? My name isn't important. I'm not even here to compete. I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here any minute now. Shenhe! And Ningguang's little helper! <laughs> ah, so you're the ones behind this. No wonder. The rarest talent turns in the rarest plostrite specimen. But I have to correct you on one point. It's not helper. It's secretary. Secretary. <laughs> okay then, Miss Secretary, what do you think of the rock we found? Pretty amazing, right? In truth, it is the finest piece of plostrite we have received so far. If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the Jade Chamber, which okay. will enable us to proceed to the next stage of construction. As a side note, Lady Ningguang has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as accommodations for the contestants. If you need a place to rest, you are welcome to stay there. Now, please excuse me. As you can see, there is still a lot of work to do on the building site. Okay. <laughs> Shenhe! Shenhe! Just now on the way over, pretty much everyone was singing your praises! Oh, really? What kind of reaction is that? So strange. Aren't you happy about it? Whenever Paimon gets praised, Paimon can't help but hold their head up high and break into a big smug smile. I've had similar compliments before. They call me an adeptus, treat me with great deference and respect, as if I'm set apart from the common folk. Yeah, cause that's how adepti mm -hmm. are. At least the ones we've met are pretty unique and reclusive too. Way different than normal people. But uh, I am not... Uh, mm -hmm. Are you alright? I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set foot in that abode. Uh, I'm just a little fatigued. Um, well, Bywin said that there are some makeshift hotels we can use, right? Let's go check in and take a rest. <sighs> no need. I simply need to find myself a secluded place in the wilderness to sit and meditate in silence. You can't do that. It's dangerous out in the wild on your own. I think she's used to it though. When you're hungry, you go eat something tasty. And when you're tired, you go lie down in a nice comfy yeah. bed. Alright? Seriously, don't punish yourself like this. Okay. If you insist. Great! Now we're talking. Let's head to our hotel! Bring her to a nearby makeshift hotel to take a break. Okay. <laughs> One. One. <laughs> Hi there! Checking in, are we? You're just in time. We only have two rooms left. Since this was chosen as the building site for the new Jade Chamber, we've had a constant stream of people in this area. And not just workers, either. Visitors, business people, tea sellers, all sorts. So, business is booming for me today. Very few vacancies. You're lucky you got here when you did. Great! One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess it should be ready within the hour. The other room is just at the door on the left. Here are your keys. All right. Hope you enjoy your stay. Please excuse me, I'll leave you to it. Shenhe, you should go get some rest. We'll hang around outside until the other room's ready. Paimon's gonna go see if there's anything good to eat around here. <laughs> Paimon couldn't help but notice one of the guests walk in with a huge grilled chicken drumstick before. 
Let's buy one for Shenhua too. She can have it as a midnight snack. Or save it for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> All right. I will head to my room for now. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb All right. me. I'm a light sleeper. I will hear if you knock on the door. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Hey! Isn't that Cloud Retainer? What's she doing? I'm here? assuming. Uh, it has Let's to be. She has, uh. <laughs> Talk to Cloud Retainer. Okay. By the time we go up there. Wait, she's still there. <laughs> ah, yes. Wow, Cloud Retainer. One trust you have met Shen He. So, are you getting along quite well? So far, so good. Yeah. So, you know Shen He too, Cloud Retainer? Naturally. Save for Ganyu, who spends the majority of her time in Liyue Harbor. All the Adepti living today are acquainted with Shen He to some degree. Cool. So, what's her Adeptus name anyway? Calling her Shenhua feels kind of friendly, but also kind of disrespectful. So Paimon's thinking maybe it'd be better if we called her by her Adeptus name instead. Her Adeptus name? Why, pray tell, would Shenhu have an Adeptus name? Uh, don't all Adepti have a special title they go by? On this latter point, you are correct. Ah, that's what However, I thought. However, Shenhu is human. Okay. Oh, so. Wait, what? What? You knew already? I mean, similar like Ganyu, but so Ganyu is half a Right? Do you mean to say that she presents differently from ordinary human beings? Well, to start with, her problem solving methods are extremely different. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. She was like this all those years ago when one first met her. In this respect, she has not changed. One first found Shanha by chance in a cave. Ooh. One was passing by and sensed the presence of a god's remains. Being of an ever vigilant disposition, one entered immediately to inspect the scene. Inside was Shanha, then aged around six years old. In her hand, she held a dagger with which she was confronting a monster. That was the god's remains oh. incarnate. That sounds so dangerous. When one arrived, she had already been locked in confrontation with this monster for several days. Most mortal children are fragile, both physically and mentally, and are highly reliant on their parents for survival. But not so her. That she was able to endure such terrible danger was due not only to her strong willpower, but also to the bloodlust and homicidal instinct wow. with which she was born. One dealt with the monster, yet she still refused to lower her guard. She even pointed her dagger in one's direction and remained ready to strike. Only after she was satisfied that one had no intention to cause her harm, did she finally relent? She then passed out without uttering a single word. In other words, if you hadn't passed by that day, Shenhua might have... Not necessarily. Upon one's arrival, one could sense that the god's wrath was gradually receding. Even had the stalemate continued, wow. one suspects that Shenhua may have still emerged the victor of the confrontation. That's still so dangerous, though. Why was a tiny little kid battling against the wrath of a god in the first place? Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind. And she had experienced her fair share of this, even at a tender age. Seeing that she was homeless, uh -huh. she decided to adopt So when she heard thoughts about Master, she means, yeah, I expected it. <laughs> the Master is Cloud Retainer. Indeed. It is one to whom she refers. Xian He has an extraordinary constitution, making her well adapted to practicing the Adepti arts. That's why she knows All those the Adepti, adepti arts. cherished her talents, and so we were willing to train her. However, her homicidal urges did not subside with age. 
Rather, they grew stronger day by day. Moon Carver once performed a divination for her. He declared that her fate is to bear the curse of Calamity. Consumed by malevolent energy, she is prone to bring harm to those around her. Such is the magnitude of the danger this poses, that her soul must be bound with red ropes to keep her uh, homicidal instinct at bay. Oh, that's why she wears those ropes. Okay. The red ropes have indeed served to keep her calmer and more content. I mean, I've seen the video in the, in the trailer. <laughs> somewhat inexpressive. Let's face the ropes. Perhaps the red ropes are so powerful that they have suppressed some of her other emotions as well. Huh? Is she there? It is only by fate that people's paths may cross. Now that Shen He's path has crossed with yours, please be sure to treasure the gift that fate has given you, and take good care of her. Paimon gets it. You came out here to check up on Shenhua because you were worried about her, didn't you? Huh. You dare draw <laughs> such a facile conclusion on the nature of one's present excursion. Incorrect. No. The truth is that while Liyue Harbor may seem peaceful today, danger is always lurking in the shadows. Ningguang once made a bold assertion. That this is to be the era of the contract mm -hmm. between Liu Wei and the humans. Well, one is most curious to observe how she will respond to the coming storm. If she handles it admirably, one is willing to be a witness to her achievements. But if she does not, the Adepti shall not hesitate to seize control. Okay. Let us conclude our conversation here for today. One has occupied enough of your time. A night is approaching. Be sure to get ample rest. Okay then. Wait until the so, following day. Shenhua isn't an adeptus after all. Oh. She just grew up around the adepti. Yeah. Oh no wonder she doesn't like being treated as an adeptus. So Having she's everyone not, falling over themselves she... to show their respect. <laughs> A human raised by the Adepti is precisely what Liu Wei needs right now. It is also what the Adepti wish to give to Liu Wei. <laughs> Alright then, uh, 8 to 12, huh?